Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the icy tundras of Nita. I am Der Eizmeister, and this is episode 30 of Ashes of the Empire, the core campaign with Damadog. Yeah, in the last episode, Demma and I managed to um, sneak up to the Twin Guards headquarters. It is finally within our sight and now within our grasp. The Twin Guard will surely fall. The question is, how are we going to do it? And by the way, this episode is also the time where Demma and I will deploy this beauty here, uh, the Barrage Launcher. A um, special unit that uses laser-guided missiles. Um, while the main unit is mostly responsible for launching said missiles and has uh, only rudimentary detection systems, um, many of which are mainly focused towards, uh, well, anti-munition defenses, um, a second unit you can see here, the guidance satellite, is the one providing detection information and it is equipped with, um, yeah, guidance lasers. This unit will guide the missiles of its, um, well, parent unit or mother ship, so to speak, uh, to their target. Now then, let's see how it does in combat. Uh, there it is. I hope this works. Ah, yes. Wait, does it work? It, it does. I guess we're about to find it, out. It does. Okay. The Barrage missile launcher with its laser guidance satellite. That was a wow. fun build. Oh yeah, showing uh, the power of teamwork in From the Depths. Ah. Uh, I hope this works, yeah. Um, I've done some improvements to both the satellite and the missile launcher itself. The missiles are much more agile and should follow the laser beam um, a little bit better. Now, let's spawn it in for a second. There we go, satellite away. And missile launcher is perfectly functional. And you can even have a seat here. Yep. That's it. Lifting, moving out. All right, next vehicle. Uh, let's... Where is it? Do we have anything else that we like to spawn in? Oh, uh, did we ever bring the Predator Destructor onto the field? Uh, I think we did, yes. Okay, I couldn't remember if we had one spawned in or not. Um, I think we're probably okay for the moment then. Okay then, Moving time on. to test out on new laser guidance satellite. Ah, uh, speaking of laser and satellites, I am attempting to construct some, uh, how should I call them, defense satellites. Small satellites that are, yes. can be deployed for defense, not offense, since they are not that mobile. I'll have to see how that goes. Mm, worth a look. Whiplash, oh, don't need whiplashes. Although there are a lot of aircraft there. Anyway, we got enough firepower. Oh yeah. Definitely need a yeah. goose stuff. Everyone should have a goose stuff. And we need... Oh no, we so... didn't spawn the Predator Destructor. I was mistaken. Oh, okay. So we want to go ahead and add that to yeah. the Emperor's Finest? Yep, we will. Okay. But for now... Battle time. Oh, uh, I should probably... You know, I think I got a Punisher version of the Lehman Rust. Do you think that might be something you'd be interested in? Um, what does the Punisher version mean? It's the one with the huge minigun that's mounted into the main turret. Yeah, why not? That thing is crazy crazy scary against like uh, heavy infantry because <laughs> just the sheer amount of bullets that come out of it. 
I think uh, you can get probably as much as oh 29 shots per shooting phase coming out of one vehicle that's a hell of a lot I've seen it take down Space Marine Terminators that is scary although I'm not familiar with uh, Warhammer tabletop rules not a lot of people are it's pretty complex Oh, I'm, I've only played this. maybe a handful of games, but damn it, going fun. Hello, Gustav, how you doing? Yep, Gustav is trying to hit aircraft and is actually stuck on the ground a little bit, or is it? Uh, sometimes that'll happen, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you could just like spawn in a rubber block underneath it to pop it up and then just pull it back off. Oh, I've yeah. Do it a Let me times. just uh, make some. Last minute adjustments here. I did some very nice work on that tank, as I recall. Oh, yeah. Actually, definitely. it's more of a kit to a sub propelled gun than a tank, but who cares? Oh, one of my <laughs> missile oh, launchers no. tipped oh. over. Is that Lars or Mars? That is Mars. Okay. It tipped over. Oh. Anyway, we still have uh, our more oh, armor. Yeah, we, still got, we still got plenty more Articles. missile spam to go around. Yeah. Is that a Scudley missile? Oh uh, yeah, yeah it is. I recognize the proximity fuse on this one. It's kind of hard to tell though because... I'm trying to think of how to word this. Um, if you just like glance at a missile, it, it, there's not like any clear differences between uh, the different sizes. Except for maybe the scale, so yeah, if you just like glance at it, it could look like any type of missile. By the way, Phantom Lord's doing excellent work here with the particle accelerator mm -hmm. cannons. I just... thought that thing would be nasty as hell in your campaign. Uh, I've not deployed it yet. I'll try to make a version that is suitable for the campaign. Probably give it a. Uh, well, since it's deployed against aircraft. Um. One of those close range lenses. Yeah, uh, I imagine it might need a PAC rework and uh, probably a, a redo of the engine, so. Okay. I think it could be a very fun addition to your forces. Uh, oh no, Gustav is getting shot. Yeah, it's got the biggest gun out here right now. Oh, so and here comes Scudley. The statement. Hello, Scudley. That will yes. last. <laughs> uh, yeah. Blown away by superior firepower. High explosive enema. Oh, and uh, the laser satellite is online. Oh, good. And. Sorry. I have to pause here for a second. That's a radar guided one. I don't see laser guided ones just yet. Uh, oh, we got it spun way the hell back here. No, that is the more of our normal missile launchers. Oh, okay. Where I can't seem to find... Or is it? No, that's yeah, just... It's kind of hard to make them out in the distance there. Just a normal missile launcher. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. I need to oh, he's survey way the battlefield. Out there, isn't he? Yeah, he is way out of position there. And well, he damn. might be stuck on the terrain. Yeah, that uh, plow in the front of it might be giving it some issues trying to I'm... move across the terrain there. Okay, is this better? I will uh, re add it after this battle is over. No, doesn't seem like it. I want to you get this one into the fight. Yeah as soon as yeah. possible. So, jet when engines. When it does grab a jet engine to the back. There we go. I'm straining the engine a bit, but still. Because trust me, I'm an engineer. Oh yeah. That's, that's why I strapped engines on it. Oh, that uh, gained some air. Anyway, should rejoin the battle soon. Alright. Okay, next time, deploy your forces a little bit closer to the enemy. But hey, at least uh, the radar satellite is working as intended. 
and also providing detection information for other units. Mm -hmm. It keeps a pretty good laser lock on enemy units here. I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. As, as long as you have a constant green beam pointing at the enemy, that's uh, mm -hmm. ensuring a missile hit. You get to have some crazy good detection to be able to make that work, though. Um, mostly just one of every type. Mm -hmm. Even IR detection. Better finished. Uh, what kinds of detection did you put in that satellite anyway? Do you remember? Um. No, I don't. Moving out. Moving no, out. no big deal. I was just curious. Yeah, on my way. Ever. Yeah, on my way. We seem to be uh, get intercepted Listening. here in a moment. Oh, that is yeah. unfortunate for on them. Oh yeah, we'll curb stop. Yeah. yeah. On my way. Listening. Moving out. Now with proper deployment Listening. of uh, the barrage missile launcher. Listening. Moving out. Receiving. Moving. And yeah. on my way. everyone get Receiving. in there, and even Moving. Daisy. Yep. Although that's a name I haven't heard Receiving. in a while. Daisy, still, still kicking, Receiving. still alive and kicking, or eating. Oh no, we've been blockaded. Ah, this is nothing. Yeah, that's like Tuesday for us now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not familiar with this expression, but I'll just say yes. Basically, it just happens like every day, so like, yeah. Oh, then fed abroad. Uh... Bunker Lord, Gustav, yeah. get close to the Bunker Lord. I uh, don't need to carry on. Artillery, yes, please. Receiving. I actually did a video where I made a larger version of the carry on. It ran about 80k, but it moves at like, oh, 104 meters a second. Uh, I don't imagine it is a hovercraft. Indeed, it is. Oh, okay. Eliminating friction. Well, from the ground, not from the air. Yeah. Uh, some... Wait, how is the terrain around here? Mm, it can be a little hilly. A little hilly. So, yeah. no tank hunters. Okay. Uh, although, the White Death is a hovercraft. Yes. That means, let's give them... Uh, yeah. Those, those, those. Yep, I think we are prepared. Alright, let's do it. Hover tank and hammer rammer. And don't forget, barrage launcher. Okay. Yep, I am prepared. Let's do this. Bye bye, Twin Guard. And satellite away. Okay, Bunker Lord is active. Hammer Ram is active. Mm -hmm. and I think that uh, just got nailed by a bunch of missiles there. Ooh, it's a big one. Oh, yeah. It I has one of boss. everything. Yeah. This is indeed the boss. Well, ah, fine by me. You'll die just like the rest. So, here we have, let's see if the launcher has already deployed its missiles, doesn't seem like it, at least not yet, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I thought I saw a missile swarm on camera there a moment ago. Missile away, oh, that was from uh, the hover tank. Okay. Yep, that's a missile swarm, alright. Actually focusing on this one, but the laser satellite is strangely focusing on one of these little craft, but hey, I'm not complaining. If those get taken out, fine by me. And the good thing about this is the missile can retarget. Mm -hmm. Provided it has fuel, of course, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, they have plenty of fuel. 
Uh, was it you that threw those missiles together, or was it Ion? I forget. I think this was Ion. Okay. It's usually pretty good with missiles. Oh yeah, and uh, rapid fire APS systems. Oh, so oh. I have learned. Uh, but yeah, the one that's firing these missiles is this hover tank. Uh, so oh yeah, yeah, I remember that dude. Uh, I don't know who sent it in for my quest for Nita campaign. I'm, I've forgotten the name, unfortunately. But I said it in the last, uh, last video. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I did. Okay. So what's the uh, new map like? Um, bigger. With a few uh, neutral territories, as I've discovered. More resource zones. And uh, a lot more interesting in terms of um, faction placement. There's a... Uh, there are a lot more possibilities for war between factions now. How oh, and uh, this mech is toast. Did they fix the issue where like stuff was or where like the uh, Scarlet Dawn kept getting killed by the Great Talons? Did that ever get fixed? Uh, I have not arrived at a point where I can confirm this. Okay. Well, Harmon Ugh. Excuse me, got a bit of a gas bubble there. Okay. This thing is dead. And now the other one, apparently. Yeah, the laser satellite is guiding the missiles of the barrage launcher to take out one, uh, one, one of these small guys after another. Well, it's certainly effective. And what the hell happened there? Uh, I believe that's one of your Griffin bombers, is, am I yep. correct? Yep, that's an unexpected landing. Very much unplanned. Oh, and that's good stuff on the field. Uh, and the freak on the leash. What was that? Oh, that was freak on the leash for a second there. I, might, yeah. I thought it might have been uh, the Berserker, but... Yeah. They're frying the AIs of these little things. And then retargeting. It looks like the laser satellite is struggling to uh, struggling to get a lock on these smaller ones. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah. What kind of, or uh, what altitude does that uh, satellite go up to again? Uh Actually, let's check for a second. We are at almost 800 meters. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's it's surveying the battlefield and hovering above enemy units. Well, as long as it's working. I mean, yeah, it, it is. It is. And quite well. I've, ever since the uh, detection update, I've been kind of um, avoiding using laser guided weapons because it just it just seemed like they weren't as effective as they used to be before detection was a thing I mean um, in the current beta they might be even more effective as you can uh, target um, heated or hot blocks in this uh, version Okay. you can specifically target them uh, that means that Breaking shields with EMP and missiles is a, um, a suitable tactic now. And engines, for that matter. It used to be a tactic back in the day because couldn't you like use the infrared camera on the uh, on a missile to auto automatically target the shields? Oh yes, 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 you could. But those missiles could be diverted by decoys. Uh -huh. Kaboom! It is dead. Uh, is there anything else? No, just good stuff. Hey, hey. Oh, lasers. I hope they don't shoot down our satellites. Another reason why I uh, haven't tried making a satellite like that. 
I made a spotter plane for the Reichsmark II once, and it seemed like it just got destroyed in every fight that it was in, so I just hadn't bothered with it ever since. Did it have any weapons? Nope, it was uh, basically meant to do the same role as your satellite. Ah, I see. I don't know why it got priority targeted. Maybe a stray missile hit it. Uh, well, I was fighting against the lightning hoods, so that might have had something to do with it. Oh yeah, missiles and lasers. Mm -hmm. And plenty of them. Oh! <laughs> Deadly hit? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, and a meaty hit at that. Pow, right in the kisser. Yep, that was the hit that ended it. Nice. And I f yep, there's a satellite, you can even see it from here. Oh, there's another one. Okay, target the base and... Hopefully Gustav turns quickly. Oh yeah, that thing does some crazy damage if it gets a cram on target. Yeah. Yeah, especially if the cram hits. I mean, even a, a, a um, missed shot, like maybe two to five meters next to the target is still is effective. And... Mm, yeah. Missed, they'll do a bunch of explosion damage. Proving my point there. Nice, so nice. And those laser guided missiles are very effective. It's like death by a thousand cuts. Yeah. Oh, there it is, skirting around the battlefield. I mean, the missiles do have the range, so I set the AI up to stay at, uh, what is it? Uh, like 1000 meters? It's normal range for artillery in. In ashes, we um, anyway. Oh, it's got lame mist. Okay, hey, why is the overlord so fast? Hmm. Anyway, um, I guess that's it for. The Twin Guard. They have been crushed. Yeah. Uh, we might want to go grab that uh, resource zone over at the top uh, left there. Should be too hard to do, but just wanted to point that out. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's uh, let's send. Moving out. Send the uh, Berserker out. there. Yeah, they're pretty moving out. Yeah. Let's send the Gatling Lord in and uh, just destroy whatever is protecting this resource zone. What is yeah, it? Yeah, how big of a force do you think they're hiding in? Oh, okay. It's not bad. Maybe you're just a mech? I don't know. I'm, it sounds, uh, Moving out. sounds oh, like it could be a little out. on the big side there, considering it's sitting on a resource yeah. zone. Oh, okay. So we might want to send in the Berserker Lift and the Sword Moving in the out. Wind. Moving out. Yeah, some aerial support can hurt, I think. Receiving. And the Dagger Hover Tank, since that one... Moving. Actually, this one did really well since it didn't get damaged by the hilly terrain. So I consider this That's a successful test. Lifting, moving out. Uh, yeah, Receiving. just uh, yeah, on my way. Receiving. Moving. move around here. Mars Receiving. is still damaged. Receiving. Lifting. There we go. Moving out. Yeah, but uh, successful test for the barrage launcher as well, along with the laser guidance yeah. satellite. The concept works. Lifting. Uh, I just have to spawn this one in. Yep, there we go. That's a hell of a bounce. Thankfully it landed on its treads. Yeah. It's like a like a cat. And picking up speed. 
Oh, we're getting blockaded by another force here. Again? Yeah, but it's a, it's a tiny force. Okay. Ah, uh, let's just do this does real the, quick. Does that mechanic work the same in current, or...? Yeah, it does. Oh, and okay. I have I have found out something very interesting in uh, the recent beta test. Um, I was fighting the okay. Deepwater Guard, and as it so happens, an Onyx Watch force was also in the Deepwater Guard territory, uh, attempting to capture it. And as I initiated the battle, uh, the Onyx Watch joined yes. as an ally of mine. Huh. This is something I did not expect. Not at all. Well, a lot of people, they end up being allied with the Onyx Watch after they've taken out the... Uh, yeah. With the Deep Water Guards, so... Yeah, yeah, exactly. I guess I can see that. Okay, a small force here. Enough to deal with this, uh, whatever it is. I'm sitting on a tank. Oh yeah, uh, thrusters are... Oh shit, no! Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> did I do... Oh, oh, Maybe you got a little bit too much thrust there. Maybe, just maybe. Just a tad. Uh, yeah, let's give it a little bit. Come on. And reset thrust control. There we go. Okay. Where's the enemy? Everywhere. Charlie's in the trees. Uh, Alright. Vietnam reference. That is way before my time. Mine too. Ah. Huh. It's over. I'm thinking into like 71, 72, something like that. Yeah. Very yes. well. On my way. Isn't it like shortly after World War Two? Receiving. No, you're thinking of Korea. Listening. All oh, right, that Korea. was the Korean War. Okay, Listening. there is water in the way. No problem for the hover tank. Listening. The berserker is finally up and running. Listening. Sword in the wind, always a pleasure. Receiving. And the Gatling Lord for support. Yeah, there we go. Receiving. Listening. I'll be on the solid in a bit for now. Alright. And we have uh, one of those Was that missile spammy uh, tanks. Uh, I haven't seen that guy for a while. Uh, that thing's got some crazy uh, melee attack there. If you take a look at those little claws that are going across the ground there. Yeah. Oh, those are drills! Yes. Those. Yeah, these are fully functional simple weapon drills. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the solid event made short work of it. And uh, where's the freak on the leash, by the way? Oh, uh, no, no, wait, the berserker. Oh, there it is. Coming around for another run. Yeah, sometimes it might take a couple of passes for it to get its guns on target, so, yeah. Uh, I think I changed the missile loadout for it as well. It's Ooh, a look at that. Belt blaster. Yep. Yep, certainly effective. And bombs away. That's one thing you gotta love about uh, building aircraft in from the depths. Once you have a good airframe, you can pretty much build whatever based off of it. Yeah, I, uh, I have this habit as well. It's like, once I've built an airframe I'm satisfied with, I basically stick every possible weapon system in there. Well, that's kind of what they do in real life too. I mean, why yeah. start from scratch when you can just pull something off the shelf, you know? Designing from scratch actually takes a lot of time. Uh, mm -hmm. Effort and resources. Oh, okay. I just was about to say. hours of obligatory combat testing. Yeah. Mostly because I like to watch shit get blown up. Or whatever. <laughs> hey, 
Uh, so, the most fun kind of testing. Okay, we have successfully Lifting. conquered this resource zone. Moving out. Nice. Lifting. Moving out. So, so we got like what two tiles left of the twin garden? We're done with them. Uh, one, two, three. I don't know. Four, five, six. Yeah, but let uh, let's just um cut through this 41 tile down here and um, start war with either the white flares or the uh, lightning hoods. Oh, and we need to figure out a way to defend our home base. Because it's dangerously close to either territory. Yeah. Uh, let me just copy this. The, the glorious land harvester. And set it there. Yeah. Why won't it work? Moving out. There we go. Receiving. Uh, I sent the Overlord back for it okay. to repair. Listening. Moving okay. out. Moving uh, out. Question. Yeah. Receiving. As someone who's Moving. been doing YouTube for a while Listening. here, um, I wanted some Moving insight out. on this. Uh, I have been trying to Moving record out. doing a uh, this laser battle or battle cruiser I showed you earlier, and like I only got about three minutes of part four of the time lapse recorded. Um, I'm not entirely sure what to do here because that's I've lost probably like a good three four hours of work. I don't know if I should just release the rest of the series or just leave some kind of note that that event happened and hope for the best. Um. Yeah, just explain Moving what out. happened. I mean, Moving out. and Uplifting. hope for the best. Moving. I'm sure okay. those people would understand Lifting. watching. Moving out. Yeah. I mean, Receiving. there's nothing we can do about Lifting. this now that it's uh, not the footage oh, has me, been I lost. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess we could uh, stop here at this point. Next time we will have to just deal with two, uh, maybe just one twin guard tile and uh, then it's on to the yeah, next we could, totally, we could totally wipe out the twin garden another session. Yeah. That's only what, five tiles and... Five tiles, maybe. Possibly. <laughs>